Bro, who, man, who just walked in, man? Man, it, it's bro, like, man. Y'all see what's going on? This is bro, man. <laughs> <laughs> this one of them young buddy demons, man. Five one, man. They young buddy, that's the only one, man. You hear me? What the oh, fuck is that? What the fuck you got on, man? Oh, that's fools. That's, that's crazy. <laughs> Take a nigga chain <laughs> in, wear it. Man. Pass it to the gang, now we share it. <laughs> that's crazy, man. That's crazy, man. So, man, what, what 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 happened that night, man? Did you snatch that shit and run or what? Nothing, bro. I still took me by myself. When they sexed me by myself, it took me. It was outside. I was in love by myself. By yourself? Yeah, he lied on me. He said we was crossed. We had a damn fight in the hallway. Oh, you saw that shit? Yeah. <laughs> damn, dude. What the fuck? When he just came to the party, I knew who he was. He, he asked him who am I. They told him who I was. He's still in the Dro City is a neighborhood located in Chicago, Illinois. It stretches from 62nd to 65th and Cottage to Woodlawn. An area on the east side in Woodlawn, once called Murder Town, is now known as Dro City. Dro City consists mostly of black disciples and gangster disciples gang members. Dro City gangs consist of five gangs, Mack Creek, BNC, Twinebee, Sawblock, and Snowblock. Notable members of Dro City include Ruga, Dro, Fado, Kevin, DMAC, Pacman, Lil D, Sway, Winky, Besta, Joe, Marcus Mack, Vic, Hollow, Fish, Drew Boy, Pookie, Vino, Nut Capone, Snow, Tonka, Spud, Tragedy, Big T, Seeb Dadon, Kiri, Shaky, A's, Sid, Greg, Scoot, Marzell, Bush, Mankey, Steel, Twin, Old Man, Aaron, Lenny, and DB. Dro City also had a heavy impact on the creation of drill music, with King Louie and Pacman being from and affiliated with the area, two pioneers of the genre. The hoods really consist of McCreek around 62nd, Vic World, Rock Creek, Barnone, BNC, Row Life, and Tim BDs around 65th in Maryland. By 2007, local rappers King Louie and Big Homie Doe had built up followings by studying Bump J's strategy of high school-based hand-to-hand promotion, giving out CDs at bus stops and parties. With gritty, southern-influenced yet singular production from producers such as Loki and Hustle Squad Productions, Doe's The Root of All Evil, and Louie's Boss Shit arrived at a time when the East Side had become known for other extra-musical activities, which Doe referred to obliquely as street shit. According to the University of Chicago's Crime Lab Project, 510 Chicagoans were murdered in 2008, up from 445 in 2007, with 80% of these victims killed by gunfire. Nearly half were between the ages of 10 and 25, and the vast majority were male and from disadvantaged neighborhoods, Reed, African American, and Latino. Doe and Louie also represented a particularly disadvantaged east side area that became known as Dro City, named for a respected resident who had been killed in 2007. With violence intensifying, the music of Louie, Doe, and another rapper named Pac Man, who coined the scene's sound-defining term, Drill, became not just Dro City's soundtrack, but the soundtrack for youth culture in Chicago. Overall, some say Pac-Man is the creator of drill music. He was rocking heavy with the Stones and LEP Bogus Boys before his death. Their music used to be on the radio, but not major till Pac-Man died. Drill music was around since 2010, though it was just Chicago music. It was, uh, it was more of gang banging music. Um, as I dive more into the story about how does Mubu Crump fit into this narrative, you have to understand that Mubu Crump's little brother, Banks, was a founding member of OTF and was said to have saved Lil Durk plenty of times in the streets. As you can see in this picture, Mubu Crump, Lil Durk, OTF, Dethang, Nikki, Lil Varney, Rondo's brother, and more are in this picture. There are several rumors as to how the King Louis Lil Durk connection went south. One is Crump was Mubu, and Mubu was kicking it with OTF because of Durk and Louis. Shit went sideways when the hoods 
in Dro City, Mubu, Tim started having ties with 051. One thing led to another and Nuski died. Louis was shot in the head. Varney was put in the wheelchair. Rest is history. Well, not history. Before we can really get into 2010, we have to understand it all. So let me explain. OTF, only the family to outsiders and for the purposes of music and socially acceptable marketing, only Trey folks to members and the streets. OTF is a BD alliance originally spanning from the east side to the low end. Its stated aim was to capture as much of the former strength of the Randolph Towers as possible. The name stems all the way from the 90s. Despite the claims and bravado, none of the guys we know currently made it up. It was a name used by BDs in the Calumet buildings. The founding members were Wook and Varney, representing Lamron, which is normal Bull V and 300 in general, D Thang, representing Dog Pound, Ike and J Money, representing O Block, and Mubu Crump's little brother, OTF Banks, aka Blood Money, representing Dro City. Everyone knows at least basic info about most of those guys, but probably not. Banks Blood, Crump is the middle child of four brothers. The older brothers are dead, and Banks just got hit with 40 years for killing a stone named Lino. Banks is, or at least was, a BD and was close with Ty MB. I have heard he's flipped GD in jail because of his brother's beef, but only Dro City Obama actively talks to him, so I can't say for sure. The lack of support, financial or otherwise, for Banks from TMB members that he was with every day is part of why Crump started hating some of them, despite the fact that, at the end, they had almost the exact same ops. People think it started when he knocked out SJ in the store, but that was considered minor in the dro because no one really fucked with SJ. Anyway, Courtney says most of Tim's own guys don't get taken care of, so it wasn't realistic to expect special circumstances for OTF Banks. Crump wasn't hearing that though. Crump did get along with some TMB guys, especially a dude named Glock who attended his funeral. Obama has an appeal in the works, but it's not looking good for banks because they have a lot more than the usual circumstantial evidence. There have heard been conflicting stories. Some say Lino was an op, and others told me it was just a personal beef that got way out of hand. The original members were the guys I mentioned, but the alliance started to expand rapidly. Sosa, Top, 600 Brick City, B City, and the Brain Deads and a bunch of the low-end BD sets started getting down and claiming OTF. The only parts of the city not represented were Roseland, the north side, and the west side. They wanted to include the west side, however. This was why Reese went over to the Domin Courts. The distance was deemed too big by the Domin Court OGs, however. The peak of the OTF alliance was in 2013 in terms of members and street clout. Another rumor about where it all went wrong was OTF was an alliance, it was not a top-down hierarchy. The premise was based on a fundamental misunderstanding of the dynamic and nature of where the streets are at in this day and age. There was a bunch of minor and petty conflicts between individuals, including when Lil Durk was going to get robbed at Adriana's by Babo, and this was only prevented by OTF banks upping a gun on him and everyone he was with. But things started really going left at the end of 2013. Chief Keefe and Lil Durk started beefing personally over Keefe's refusal to post bond in July 2013. If you remember at the time Chief Keefe was getting hit with unpaid child support claims in court every other day, he was probably fucked up money-wise at the time. But Durk interpreted it badly. Things escalated and some robberies and shootings happened. 46, either Zoo and Rome or Babo and Gino depends on who you ask, allegedly robbed Keefe, then Capo and Benji. Glow allegedly sent shots at the six in response. This led to almost everyone around Chief Keefe no longer claiming OTF, despite many of them um, already having that shit tatted. Uh, then Lamron Pluto died at the hands of a goofy from Dro City named Ivory. At the time, Ivory was Tim. Most of 300 OTF blamed Tim B, Tim B Manny. Tim B, Roro, and a few other guys tried to explain the situation and got their guns taken at the end of it. On some, you don't know how to use your guns, so we'll confiscate them type shit. 
After that, Ty and B-Face and Stryker robbed OTF Randy Rex Wook for their guns. Lil Law from Lamron was close with Cortese from Time B like a lot of other BDs were, and he stepped in to prevent the beef from escalating on the basis of them all having the same ops. A lot of other BDs were still fucking with Ty and B heavy at the time, including Oblock and 600. So the end result was Ty and B dropping the OTF flag and making sure the other BDs in the dro did the same. THF Zoo switched to BD in part to fully bring 46 into OTF, despite there being a lot of non-BD members. Him being BD was speculated by fans since the shakeup with Vaughn and was confirmed in the live with Melly. But this is old news on the streets. THF started shooting at Dro City specifically because of Melly. Not Crump dissing online, not 51 as a whole, but Melly. Melly killed Chino and sent shots at numerous other 46 guys and was in the dro with total impunity. He wasn't just there as a neutral member. He was getting heads up when THF went to go look for him over there behind the scenes. There was a bunch of phone calls and discussions between THF olders and dro. City olders, but nothing changed on the ground. THF -E got fed up and Louis got a headshot in December of that year. Louis moved out of Chicago and stopped gang banging completely after that. This was hinted at by Zoo in the live when he talked about Melly getting people killed. Crump went from dissing because he had a big ego and people were on the wrong side of personal disputes to dissing dead people hard as hell when he came out of jail because of THF shooting Louie and killing Kurt Mack. Crump was a threat. He was sliding on 46 with Melly almost every day. He was one of the only people always down to slide when Melly wanted to go out hunting. I've been saying this for months, but it's now been confirmed he was specifically targeted at that party by THF, and it damn sure wasn't because of tweets. The brain deads that were OTF all sided with Keefe, Capo, Front Street, Glow Gang. During those respective conflicts, there was a lot of personal calls, convos, fights, and disagreements. Uh, I couldn't capture and frankly just don't know the details of that contributed to all of this. Uh, in the present day, only Oblock 646 and some Dog Pounds guys claim OTF and it's not even close to everyone from those hoods. It's just a clique centered around Dirk at this point, as well as a music label, no longer a city-spanning BD alliance. Uh, Wook more or less stopped flagging OTF for years while he was in Vegas. Uh, former OTF BDs in Dro City are trying to smoke OTF members from 46 for Kurt Mack, etc. Despite being a subgenre of hip hop, drill music originated in the Chicago South Side throughout the 2010s. Drill holds similarities to Atlanta's trap music scene, which also embodies dark production and themes of criminal activity. Emerging from crime ridden neighborhoods like Chai Town's Woodlawn community called Dro City, the genre became notorious for its gang violence. A slang term for kill, drill became known for its trademark flow, ominous lyrics about street hustling and toned down tempo around 70 beats per minute. Coined by Dro City hip hop artist Pac Man on his 2010 track, It's a Drill, the rapper met his untimely demise in June of 2010 before the movement became an international phenomenon. Early drill artist King Louie made waves with tracks like What That Mouth Do and Too Cool, while Lil Durk and Lil Reese also began buzzing with their uh, collaborative effort, Lee's Bitch. Shortly thereafter, Chief Keef became the most prominent drill artist on YouTube after releasing his single, Bang. Other artists like Keef's cousin, Fredo Santana, G Herbo, and Lil Bibby helped popularize the sound, but one of Drill's most pivotal moments was the release of Chief Keef's I Don't Like. The track became mainstream, charted on the Billboard 100, garnered tens of millions of streams, and inspired major acts like Kanye West and Drake to co-sign his music as well. The 2012 single also boasted a remix featuring Kanye, Pusha T, Big Sean, and Jadakiss on G.O.O.D. Music's Cruel Summer LP later that same year. King Louie also rose to fame with an appearance on Kanye West's Jesus in 2013 that culminated in a record deal with Epic Records in 2015. 
watched the success of Chicago rapper Lil Bibby's 2013 mixtape, Free Crack, parlayed into a contract with RCA Records, but he eventually switched his focus from rising artist to music executive. In 2017, he retired from rapping to run his own record label, Grade A, where he eventually signed late artist Juice WRLD, who topped the Billboard chart with Death Race for Love, 2019. Chief Keef had also signed to Interscope and uh, relocated from Chicago to Los Angeles, but was dropped in 2014 due to Drill's waning commercial um, appeal. So as these things seemingly take a turn for the worst, and as I have shown you in the video, from 2007 to 2013, these guys were together in a movement started by Dro City and Drill Music to get the city off the ground. With numerous rappers and different gangs trying to make it out of Chicago, it was always going to end up this way. Beef. But the beef between Mubu Crump really started because of a couple of things. First, because of the death of Pluto, Lamron. Twyamp and Lamron used to be cool, but then Tyambi killed Pluto, apparently by accident. This caused Lamron to stop fucking with Tim, no matter if the killing was intentional or accidental. So then the sets around them that used to be cool with both Tim and Lamron had to pick sides. I think sets like the YEC 600, uh, maybe THF, and some other sets sided with Lamron and some other sets sided with Tim. Um, Crump, Crump set was one of the gangs that sided with Tim. Second, there was a fight between OTF crew and King Louis' Mubu camp. The two camps clashed during a meeting held by T.I. at the shop 147 in Harvey I.L. Lil Turk's brother had this to say, I want to give a special motherfucking apology to my brother Henry from the shop 147. He said, I apologize for disturbing the peace. OTF as a whole, Henry, you my brother and I got your back 100% but there were no apologies to the Mubu camp. D-Thang went on to slam the King Louie-led rap group and engaged in a back and forth with Mubu member Crump. Crump alleged D-Thang was choked during the incident. It was a claim D-Thang vehemently denied. Talking about a nigga choked me, he said. What the fuck going on, man? You know we can fight head up if you want to. We can shoot it out on your pussy goofy ass niggas. Fuck Mubu. Crump, why the fuck was you running? Fuck Crump and Louie. Da, Thang goes on to troll Mubu Crump and King Louie for 10 HR straight, alleging that Mubu Crump ran and was knocked out at the event. This would be the deciding factor as to what seemingly is the fate of King Louie's rap career. By Mubu Crump railing against the OTF set in, which his brother started and knowing where these members lived drove, uh, hung out, it was surely going to be tough to do shows and move around. Even though Dro City started the drill scene, this was another fact in the streets of Chicago. Violence. On December 24, 2015, King Louis, the Chicago drill rapper often cited for creating the terms Chirac and Drill et Noir, was shot in the head Wednesday in the city's Ashburn neighborhood, according to reports. Police, as well as the artist's management, told the Sun-Times that Louis, aka King L and Louis Johnson, was awake and talking, in stabilized condition afterward. The 27-year-old had been rushed to a medical center after an unidentified gunman came up to his vehicle, shot him in the left side of the head, and fled earlier that afternoon. He would eventually recover and jet out of town for good, but Mubu Crump would not stop, even though his gang did not approve of his antics online. He basically sank King Louis' rap career. His new ties to every pop OTF had made him popular on the internet and surely would not end well. He trolled OTF Varney, which was robbed and shot in the back and later paralyzed. He then trolled Chino, Lil Durk's manager, after he was killed. Chino, whose real name is Uchenna Agina was sitting in his car outside of a restaurant in Avalon Park when a gunman approached the vehicle on foot and fired into the car. Two other individuals were wounded in the incident and no arrests have been made, but has been rumored to have been killed by 051 Melly, 
in retaliation for Lil Mark's murder and Lil Durk previously on the Fenito remix claimed he was going to shoot Young Money up. Mubu Crump would just not stop going to OTF Chino Death Spot and ordering what he called a Chino Burger. On June 1, 2014, MacArthur Swindle, a rapper who performs as OTF Nunu and the cousin of prominent Chicago rap star Lil Durk. Around 3.20 p.m. Saturday, Swindle was seated in an SUV in a parking lot in the 700 block of East 87th Street when someone approached on foot and fired shots. Swindle then crashed the SUV into a nearby storefront window, said officer Amina Greer, a police spokeswoman. Swindle, of the 7200 block of South Halstead Avenue in Englewood, was pronounced dead at the scene at 3.25 p.m., according to the Cook County Medical Examiner's Office. Crump would later take to Instagram and troll OTF Nuski's death site. This was also rumored to be another one of 051 Melly's hits on the OTF gang. With all of this trolling and Lil Durk's rise to stardom, something surely was to happen. And on May 28, 2018, the Chicago rapper known for his Instagram antics, the Chicago rapper Mubu Crump was killed after being shot in a drive-by shooting over the weekend. According to a number of online reports, Crump, a member of King Louis' Mubu camp, was standing in front of his house in the 6800 block South Morgan Street in the South Side area of Chicago late Thursday night, Friday morning, May 24, 25, when shots were fired from a car driving by. The 32-year-old was reportedly attending a party at the time of the shooting. Reports say he was shot twice in the arm and twice in the torso. He was taken to the University of Chicago Hospital where he was pronounced dead. 051. Melly was shot alongside Crump and was said to be currently in the hospital with serious injuries. He reportedly suffered five gunshot wounds to his left arm and was grazed in the head, but he survived. Mubu Crump is rumored to have been killed by THF Bezu after this exchange on Instagram. The streets of Chicago do not spare anyone. I will continue. You need to bring content, please like, share, and subscribe.